Hi friends, let us now study the next topic that is the Eastern Hill Complex or the Eastern Hills which are the continuation of the Himalaya Ranges. Now these are the hills which are known by the different names and you should know the name of a hill, the state in which that hill is located, the name of a mountain if I am giving, the state in which that mountain is located and how are these hills. Now this is a topic as you can know, this is known as an Eastern Hill. or they are collectively known as Purvanchals. They are collectively known as Purvanchal. Why they are collectively known as Purvanchal? Because these are the hills which are lying on the eastern border of India. Now in which topic we are studying them? We are studying them in the topic of Himalayas. Why we are studying them in the topic of Himalayas and why they are then not known as eastern Himalayas and eastern hills? The reason I am telling you now. See, these this hills have totally different relief, totally different structure from the Himalayas. So, they are made up of, they are very different from in their scale, scale means in their height, in their relief and in their morphology, in their structure from the Himalayas. But why they are part of the Himalayas? Because they belong to the same orogeny as the Himalayas. That means, the Himalayas, after their origin, <coughs> The Himalayas, they take sudden southward bends, that is this is how the Himalayas are, after their origin they take sudden southward bends and they continue as eastern hill complex and in Myanmar they will continue as in the Arakan Yoma mountains. So the Arakan mountains of Myanmar, this here is the Myanmar region, this is the India region, the Arakan Yoma mountains. are also the continuation of the Himalayas in the Myanmar region but they are of a different latitude. So I am using a different color here, I am showing you again here. The Himalayas after taking the sudden southward bend, from which peak does it take the sudden southward bend? You know that. In the eastern region it takes a sudden southward bend from Namcha Barwa. Why? Because it was given the maximum push by the hills of the peninsular India in the eastern part of this region. So, from the Namcha Barwa, after taking a sudden southward bend, the Himalayas continue and they are known by different names such as they are known as Patkai Bum or Patkai Mountains. In which state? In the state of Arunachal Pradesh. In the state of Arunachal Pradesh, they are known by the name of a Patkai Bum or the Patkai Mountains in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. Then in the state of Naga land, they are known as Naga Hills. In the state of Naga land, they are known as an Naga Hills. Then in the state of, after this comes the state of Manipur, they are known as Manipur Hills. They are known as Manipur Hills. And in the state of Mizoram, the southernmost state, they are known as Mizo Hills. They are known as Mizo Hills. If you remember, I had given you an, one assignment and I had asked you to find what is the name of the Mizo Hills. The name of the Mizo Hills is Lushai Hills or Lushai Mountains. So the old name of Mizo Hills is also known as Lushai Mountains or Lushai Hills. Now what are this? These are the eastward continuation of the Himalayas which after taking a sudden southward bend continue till the Mizoram. After that Mizoram they will go and they will disappear into the Arabian Sea region, uh, sorry in the Bay of Bengal region. They will go, they will submerge in the Bay of Bengal region and afterwards they will project upwards as the peak of the Himalaya. So they will project up, upwards at the, as the peaks and what we call them as the Andaman and Nicobar Island. So the Andaman and Nicobar Islands which are submerged islands are nothing but which the, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are nothing but the sub peaks of the submerged mountain system of the Himalaya ranges. So we have this areas here. So what are these mountains? These are Patkai Bhumi in Arunachal Pradesh. There are Naga hills in the Nagaland where Mount Saramati, where Mount Saramati is the highest peak, where Mount Saramati is the highest peak. So in which state is the Mount Saramati located? Mount Saramati is located in the state of Nagaland. 
Patkai Boom is located in the state of Arunachal. Mount Naga Hills and Mount Saramati is located in the state of Nagaland. Then we have Manipur Hills and then we have Mizo Hills. In the Mizo Hills, Blue Mountains is the highest peak. In the Mizo Hills, Blue Mountain is the highest peak. Blue Mountains are is the highest peak or Blue Mountain is the highest peak. Now here from the exam point of view remember how the states are. From north to south the states by looking at this diagram itself by remembering this hills itself you know the states are Arunachal, Nagaland, Manipur and Mizoram from north to south. If the question comes where is Blue Mountain located you know that the question the Blue Mountains are located in Lushai Hills which are nothing but in Mizoram. Don't confuse it with the blue mountain. Don't confuse it with the Nilgiri ranges. Nilgiris are different. Nilgiris are in the peninsular India in the southern part while the blue mountains are in the Mizoram. Where is Mount Saramati located? Mount Saramati is located in the in the Nagaland region. And where is the Patkai boom located? In the Arunachal Pradesh. If what are this? These are the parts of Eastern Hill Complex. In the Harunachal, in the state of Arunachal Pradesh, we also did one of the important, we also did the Shivalik ranges which are known by different names and if you remember what were these different names? This were Dafla Hills, they were Miri Hills, they were Abor Hills and they were Mishmi Hills. So, Dafla Miri, Abhor and Mishmi and Mishmi are the Shivalik ranges in the Arunachal Pradesh while Patkai Bum, Naga Hills, Manipur Hills and Mizo Hills or Lushai Hills are part of Eastern Hill Complex that is the Purvanchal region. Don't get it confused, don't confuse it. That is why I am using the different color code here. Red color shows that Dafla, Miri, Abur and Mishmi are a part of the Shiva lakes. After that the Himalayas turn southward, they continue as eastern hill complex and then they go below the sea and rise as the peaks at Andaman and as the Andaman and Nicobar Island. Remember, the eastern hill complex is of, of different scale and relief. from the Himalayan regions or from the main Himalayas but they belong to same origin. They belong to same origin. They belong to same origin. So with this, I will stop here, and I and you do this map pointing very well. Open your atlas, go through this map. I want you to complete your map properly with the lecture series. So have a look at the map. At the end of the Himalayas, I will take the entire map based question from the Himalayas in a single lecture. So remember this. Remember north to south east to west all these things you remember so i have given you a topic m a m d and now patkai boom naga manipur mizo hills so b n m m whatever the shortcut you want to remember so you keep on enjoying the lecture series thank you very much